To move a resident from the bed to the wheelchair using a sit to stand, we just need the sit to stand and the sling that goes with the lift. So I've already gotten Annie up, wash my hands. I'm gonna pull the curtain for privacy. Okay, you ready to go? Okay, are you feeling okay? All right. With the slings, the tag should be out and away from the resident. And this particular sit to stand has a seat belt that goes around it. And you can see the kind of cutouts for the arm. So I'm gonna put that around her back and underneath her arms. And then we're gonna get that seat belt buckled. And we want it snug, but not so tight that it's uncomfortable. Okay, does that feel all right? Mm -hmm. Okay, and then we want to make sure those are underneath her arms to help lift her up. And then we'll get the lift in. Okay, I'm going to have you pick your feet up. Okay, then we're going to be really careful as we move this in so we don't hit her with the lift. Okay, sometimes you need to open the legs on the lift to get it around the bed. Okay, so there are four different colors here that are going to be further or closer away to her body. So you want to look in the care plan and see which you should use and which um, part on the machine we should use. You want to make sure that you use the same color and the same knob on both sides. So I have green in the middle on both sides. Okay, I'm gonna get your chair ready while you're sitting there. So we want to tr try not to move the resident too far and keep the chair facing the way they are so we don't have to spin them around to the lift. So I make sure the foot pedals are off the wheelchair and that the brakes are on. Some sit to stands also have a buckle behind the knees so if they do have that, you're gonna to wanna to fasten that before you have them stand up. Okay, Annie, I'm gonna have you put your hands up here on both sides. Okay, you still feeling okay? Mm -hmm. All right, we're gonna go up. So there's a remote on the lift with the up and down button. And so besides moving her from her bed to her chair, it's also helpful in dressing so we could put her pants on up to her knees and then have her stand up and pull her pants up while she's up. Okay, we're gonna move her slowly back into the chair. Are your knees touching the back of the wheelchair? Mm -hmm. Okay, so with the remote, if I need to, I can grab the back of the sling and bring her down so her back gets all the way back into the wheelchair. Okay, we're gonna bring the lift down until there's no more tension here. Are you sitting okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, and we're gonna unbuckle. And then if there were a bottom, we'd make sure that we unbuckle that before we move the lift away. And I'm gonna have you pick your feet up. And we're gonna go slowly. Okay, make sure we don't roll on our feet. And to open and close the legs, we pull this lever back towards us either way. Okay, I'm gonna get your sling off. Okay, have you sit forward a little bit. And then it's always good to help them pull their shirt down after they've been up in the lift because that usually sneaks up a little bit. Okay, let's get your brakes off your wheelchair. Okay, anything else I can do for you? Thank you. Okay, I'm going to make up your bed and give you your call light. Make sure this is locked. And wash my hands. <laughs>